made it, we cannot have uh, meetings without masks. But he was specific to the House who were talking about that being a unique place where yes. everyone comes to meet. Right. What about committees where you might well, wouldn't have it be the 20, same 30, thing? 40 people? Yeah. Well, in, in the meetings, if you... Uh, if you uh, don't, if you're not vaccinated, uh, the other people have to wear a mask. Uh, and we'll, we'll see. I mean, I'm hoping that this uh, new CDC guidance will will um, encourage people to be vaccinated. We want to get through this as soon as possible. You, I mean, does anybody feel like wearing a mask? So no, no. We all want to get through this, and we want to get back to uh, much of the containment of visitors to the Capitol relates to COVID, not necessarily to what happened January 6th only. I mean, we have to protect people and have safety and security, but many of the prohibitions of visits sprang well before January, came forth before January 6th. Yes, Hi, thank you. Just um, to follow up on that, you know, the president has talked about July 4th as being maybe this time when the country can begin to sort of gather more and get back to normal. Do you see any openings for uh, other aspects of the Capitol to visitors? And again, knowing that so many people have not been vaccinated, do you just keep waiting for them, or yeah. is there an alternative? Yeah, we have to wait for them to be vaccinated because they are selfishly a danger to other people, including staff people here. Uh, so uh, while we're all hopeful, and I, I join the president in being hopeful, uh, that we can reach a place where it is safe for people to be. What is this, the honor system? The honor system as to whether somebody has been vaccinated? Do you want them breathing in your face on the strength of their honor? So let, let's just see. Um, let's just see. I mean, again, we have this is about science and governance and science and governance. We have a responsibility to make sure of that the House of the Representatives chamber is not a Petri dish for the, uh, because of the selfishness of some not to be vaccinated or to insist or to wear a mask. Uh, it, because it requires us to wear a mask. I mean, we could come to a place where we say, if you don't want to wear a, ma a mask and you don't want to, if you're not vaccinated, don't even come to the floor. We have facilities up above in the, in the gallery where people can come to vote. We don't want to deter anybody's ability to um, exercise their constitutional duties. We have that responsibility as well. So we're trying to balance everybody being able to exercise their, his or her constitutional duties as well as protect the, secure, the staff, the staff uh, and the other members. Now, as um, I know a lot of things as Speaker of the House. I know a lot of things. And I know a lot about people's predispositions and the rest because they share them with me. And I have to make judgments based on what the vulnerability are of our members as well. But it's not a, shall we say, subjective decision. The uh, 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 attending physician has said, until everybody's vaccinated, we wear masks. Yes, ma'am. Uh, back to the commission. Um, yes, ma'am. I know that that is your strong preference.